Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out and Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. Internet Explorer is one of those programs that, if something goes wrong with it, you simply can't uninstall it and reinstall it, but you can repair it, and in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get Internet Explorer working again. In order to repair Internet Explorer, if it begins to misbehave, then you need to open the Internet Options. And there are two ways to do this, depending on whether you can get Internet Explorer itself to open on the desktop. If you can, then click the Tools icon in the top right of the window, and from the menu that appears, click Internet Options. If Internet Explorer itself isn't working, you can still access the Internet Options through the Control Panel. If you see the main Category View, then click the View By um, link and you can change to either large or small icons to view all of the options in the Control Panel. You'll see Internet Options listed and click that. Once you've got the Internet Options open, you want to click on the Advanced tab, which is the one on the very far right of the panel. With this open, at the bottom of the panel, you'll see it says Reset Internet Explorer Settings, and there's a reset button. If you click this, then another window will pop up telling you exactly what it is that's going to be reset, but it will also reset Internet Explorer components as well, helping to get the browser working again. Optionally, you can also delete your personal settings, because you may have temporary internet files that are corrupt and that are causing Internet Explorer to misbehave. When you're ready to reset your browser, then click the reset button. And remember that this won't affect your saved internet favorites, so they'll always be safe. While resetting Internet Explorer won't fix some of the more serious issues that you can encounter with your computer, it is a good and useful way of getting Internet Explorer working again should you encounter a general problem. You can find much more information on this and on other help, support and troubleshooting topics in my books, Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out and Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out, both from Microsoft Press. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Mike Halsey, and with music from Kevin Levy, Thank you for watching.